Hi guys and welcome back to another plan with me. Sorry it took me a while to upload this one. But I guess you since you clicked on this video you still haven't had enough with plan with me videos. Or maybe is it the title? Anyways, the wait is over and I promise that it will all be worth it, especially if you're a K-pop fan. But if you're not, I hope you still enjoy this colorful theme that also represents Pride Month. This month's plan with me is dedicated to a very famous K-pop group that is celebrating their anniversary this month. I'm sure all of you already heard about this 7-member South Korean boy band that was formed in Seoul on 2013. And if it's not yet obvious from my June cover page, this month is dedicated to BTS or is sometimes referred to as Bangtan Boys. This boy band group is composed with RM, Jin, Jungkook, Jimin, J-Hope, Suga, and my favorite, V. I was recently introduced to this group and so far I'm fangirling over them already. This is my first K-pop group that I actually liked so or gave a chance to listen. So if you want to suggest other K-pop groups, make sure to leave it on the comments down below. I'm currently re-watching all their V-Live videos, music videos, and interviews at the moment, which is one of the reasons why this Planet Me came a little late. This is a request from my friend Sam who wanted to share her ARMY experience and a way of giving thanks or giving another platform for the boys. I'll explain how I created this spread a little later, so for now. Instead of me blabbering about how to create this journal, enjoy this little time lapse and let's hear out Sam with her little tribute for the boys. Hope you guys will enjoy it! Hi guys, it's Sam and I'm back for another journal voiceover for my friend. So today I'm gonna talk about the loves of my life. But before that, I want to thank my very talented and gullible friend for doing this for me because I don't know how to do journals. But since it's close to BTS's anniversary, their sixth anniversary, I wanted to do something special so I asked her to make a journal. So I'm here, voiceovering it. So. Today, we're going to talk about the 7 members of BTS. So I've been an ARMY for over 2 years now and through that I've learned so much about myself and about the world around me. I was able to study things that I never thought I would ever study just to decipher meanings of songs and music videos and so on. As ARMYs always say, we learn more things through BTS than ever in go going to college. This isn't a biased statement or anything, or at least I hope it doesn't come off as that, but it's mainly me stating facts and sharing what I experienced as a fan. So first and foremost, let's get to know the members. So first, our president Kim Nam Joon, known as RM, a man with an IQ of 148 and the biggest crab fanboy. He just really loves crabs. He is a writer, producer, and rapper. He originated from the underground rap scene till he finally joined Big Hit Entertainment. Since then, he has been conquering great feats as the leader of the group, but once duties are done, he's back to being the cutest baby boy. Next is Mr. Worldwide Handsome, Kim Sok Jin, also known as Jin. He graduated from college with a degree in film and is now currently taking his master's alongside being a member of the biggest boy band in the world. So he is the oldest member of the group and without a doubt the funniest man alive. At first look he is an outgoing and fun loving man but underneath that is an intelligent and caring older brother who would always make sure everyone gives 
Everyone is given a chance to speak and given attention. He is the master mood maker and most of the time makes jokes and does his silly antics to make his baby brothers or young members comfortable. He is the biggest big brother you wish you had. Next is our little male male, our Minyungi, also known as Suga. The fluffiest baby also coming from the underground rap scene he is also a writer award-winning producer and rapper he's an amazing talented man that writes at least one song a day at least based on what i know he may seem cold and mean to some but he is not i emphasize the not because he is a soft boy Okay, he loves belly rubs, hand folding, and quiet days. He has never raised his voice to anyone, ever, and is just a smart, cunning, and humorous guy. We love him for his sarcasm, his talent, his softness, and his gummy smile. Next is Zhong Hoso, our sunshine, our hope, J-Hope. The main dancer, as well as writer, producer, and rapper, he is the king of dance. He lives and breathes it, and it shows. He is the brightest man you'll ever meet. Just seeing him makes your day so much brighter and his aura just radiates happiness. His dream has always been to become a dancer and through hard work and passion for what he loves, he's considered as one of the best. And with no background in rapping, he is now one of the best rappers in the industry. He is supportive to every member and he is the glue that binds them all together. Next is Baby Chimmy, our birthday cake fairy, our monkey talk, our adorable boy Park Jimin, also known as Jimin, a vocalist and dancer, a man with a background with modern dance and whose movement is so graceful and so fluid you'd see it as art itself. He has a heart of gold and that isn't even an exaggeration. He is the most caring and supportive and just all around amazing human being. He's always there for the members, usually the first to greet at birthdays, and just spreads love through his hugs and eye smile. Armies always say that everyone deserves a Jimin in their life, a ride or die that will be there for you no matter what. Next is the most handsome man in the world, our own Van Gogh, Mr. Kim Tae, also known as V. Tae is an artist, old artistic soul. You can see it in his art and his craft but he truly appreciates the classics. He is also a great actor and was featured in the K-drama Huarang. He is an intelligent man whose cunning skill has no bounds but other than that he is a pu pure soul. Though not the youngest, he is considered as the baby of BTS. And last but definitely not the least. Mr. Jong Jong Kook, also known as Jong Kook. He is known as the golden maknae of BTS. He is good in everything. He can swim, he can dance, he can rap, he can sing, he can bowl, he can do boxing, he can swim. All around everything. A jack of all trades. But he is also an amazing songwriter. He entered Big Hit Entertainment at the young age of 15 years old. And because of this, he was literally raised by the company and the boys themselves. Also a singer and main dancer, he has the voice of an angel and his technique in singing is truly top notch. He also loves to go to the gym as well, which resulted in him looking manlier each day. But to BTS, he'll forever be their baby and they will spoil him rotten with love just to see him happy. BTS's work has been beautifully crafted through the years with inspiration from, di from different books that delve deep into psychology, philosophy, and even Greek mythology. Some of the books are the ones that Walk Away from the Melas by Ursula K. Le Guin, The Book of Damien by Herman Hesse, and the inspiration for this recent album, Map of the Soul by Carl Jung. They put all their blood, sweat, and tears into making each song, each album, hoping they would be able to help the people who hear it, and they do.
These boys, as we know as BTS, as Mangtan Sonyundan or as Bulletproof Boy Scouts, have taught people how to love themselves, how to walk their own path, and taught them that you never really walk alone. Armies believe that they found BTS during a time when they needed it the most. That alone shows the impact of the words that BTS write, that BTS sings, and that BTS offers to their fans. You can hear the sincerity and the love And the appreciation for all the fans that have become their wings, that have been there through everything, that have stood beside them, and have protected them through it all. So, this it's time for Festa. It's near the anniversary, and I hope everyone enjoys the celebration. So, happy BTS month! <laughs> Bye! I hope you enjoyed that little segment that we created. I definitely learned a lot about those boys and it made me appreciate them even more. But now, let's go back to discussing this journal spread. I am now creating a, well, my mood tracker where I found this little meme faces of theirs that can definitely well tell my mood for each day it's a fun idea and i definitely enjoyed filling it up as the day goes by i just simply got a crop well a image of a purple knight and just cropped it wrote in white letterings and just simply made the meme faces as a border but it doesn't definitely mean that those are the only ones that I'll be using. I have a lot of memes of, the, of their save courtesy of Sam of course so I'll be showing you a little of that at the flip through for Here is the end or the finished look for my mood jagger. I forgot to discuss the other spreads but I will do that at the end of the, well at the flip through since I did add a few changes here and there. For this plan with me, my BTS brain dump. As I said earlier, I just I was it was only recently that I got to be involved or got to know this group. So I really wanted to learn more things about them. So 
this is a page where I would like to fill up about some regarding facts or yeah well basically facts and the songs that I will soon want to listen to so just somewhere I would be able to write it down easily and faster but yeah this is the last page and in a bit we would get into the flip chair and that's basically it for my june monthly spread I hope you guys liked it and let's proceed to the flip chart. This is my finished June cover page. As you can see, I added or changed the song lyrics to Persona. This is my finished monthly spread where I already filled it up. This is the well, what it would look like. And of course, my habit tracker where I added the spring day lyrics. I know this isn't the album or the cover for that song, but I really do like that song and it fits perfectly in this page right here. And as promised, this is the, well, this is how I will be using my mood tracker. And the, the last page that I showed you, my brain dump. That's it for my June monthly spread. Hope you guys liked it and leave a comment down below of your favorite K-pop group or what other videos you wanna you want me to post. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!